Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your November 2017 monthly general reading. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. And this is for the sign of Aquarius. I have to tell you, this is my third attempt to do your reading. There must be something going on because it's not, it's like it's a mess. I'm not sure what's a mess, but it feels like it's a mess. You've had this in all three tries, too. So that's a big energy right there. And this one you had, too. And this was the basis of your reading in the other one. Okay. So anyway, this is the basis of your, re of your reading in this one, the Eight of Swords. You guys need to free yourself from a situation. And in this month of November, you may decide to do that. Okay. I think many of you are seeking closure in a situation. I think things have probably been up in the air and you just need to, you're like, I don't know what to do, but I need, I need this to end. I can't, I can't deal with it anymore. There's just too much open, um, openness. You know, n nobody knows what the hell is going on. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, you don't know what's going on and it's causing you this mental anguish. It really is. I mean, it's causing you this despair and I think you're ready for it to end. I think it's time for you to move on. I mean, I do. I think we had this card as well. Um, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's a man or a woman. Um, and now we have the Queen and the King of Cups. All right. We also have a Leo. We have a Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries again. I'm just looking to see. We have a Libra here. And I feel like many of you are not getting the attention that you desire. You're not getting the love. And you're looking to... You're saying, you're ready to say, you know what, either you love me or you don't, okay? Now, this is a general reading. It's, it could be about anything, but this right here is about love so far. I see many of you are wanting to um, take a different path. You're, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about, you know, what should I do? Should I stay or should I go? And, you know, it, it, it's been very heavily on your mind. It's been really weighing you down, and, and it could be even making you feel ill, okay? And it's time for you to make a decision. You know, you can't ignore it anymore, and it takes confidence, all right? So I think that it's time for you to bring your confidence back, okay? Your inner strength, okay? Your will, all right? And, you know, I think that there was, there's some kind of obsession. There's probably a connection that you feel is very deep between you and another person. Could be a job, Okay, but it, there's something that, you know, you need to let go of and it does need to crumble down. We have the tower right next to the devil. This is the tower and this is the devil and this is the emperor. Okay, the tower signifies that something has to end and because you're probably not making the moves that you need to make, even though you know you need to and it's been eating you alive, it's time for you to take control of the situation and because you haven't, the tower usually comes in because it's help from above that says, okay, this this person can't do it on their own so I'm gonna help them and I'm gonna help this crumble down because it was a false foundation from the beginning you know or even if it wasn't from the beginning now it's false it's, there's no more growth to be had okay so it needs to break down and it is definitely I mean the devil can signify a falseness as well something that you are falsely attra attached to okay because that's what the devil does brings in things to um, that aren't really needed, okay? So, I mean, it's just things to mess with you. That's what the devil brings in, things to mess with you. Yeah, it's good for a little while, but it's not true, okay? It's not true. It's not what you want. It's not long-term, okay? It's immediate satisfaction, but that's about it. It's not long-term. So it's going to take willpower, strength, confidence, courage, and whatever to free yourself from whatever this is. I mean, you seriously need to free yourself. This is a false entrapment. You have a lot all over the place. You guys are stuck on a situation that is causing you a lot of 
um, despair and depression, okay? It is. There's a lot of depression here, and it's really holding you back. Um, I think that you're about to go through this awakening, okay? This is a gift from above, this Ace of Swords, and it is a gift of truth, okay? It's where all of a sudden you, you realize the truth of the situation, and you decide, you know what? It's time for me to take back my power. This is a gift from above that says, I'm going to give you your power back. What are you going to do with it? That's what this is. And that's right around the corner. So I think that many of you are going to move forward because you know what? It's time to free yourself. It's time for you to bring your personal freedom back. And in the month of November, many of you may decide to do that. Okay, because it's just not worth it anymore. It's too heavy to carry around. It's affecting your beauty, your inner and your outer beauty. Okay, you may be feeling like you can't go out, like out of the house because you're in so much despair and you look like shit because you've been, you know, this has overcome you. It really has. And that's the devil's handiwork, just saying. Okay, and that's why the devil is here. Okay, I think that there has been some manipulation and per and you've been manipulated. Many of you have been manipulated to, into believing that this is okay. It's okay to be, it's okay to um, be treated the way you've been treated. Okay, you've been manipulated into thinking that you're the wrong one when the fact of the matter is you aren't. And it's bringing you down because you know in your heart that you're not. Okay, and you're just not getting the attention that you desire and you deserve it you deserve it okay it's time to do the right thing for you that's when the justice card comes out it says okay you have to make a decision as hard as it is even if it almost kills you because this is like near death Okay, this depression is really, really bad. The next card is the Ten of Swords, okay? So, and right next to this Nine of Swords is the Eight of Swords. I mean, the depression is big. So, I'm thinking that this month, you're, you're probably going to make a decision. And it could be to cut something out that no longer serves you. Because this is cutting out and this is cutting out. Something, and it's in, in the name of uh, doing the right thing for you, okay? Um, and you know, this could have to do with work or it could have to do with a partnership. The devil can signify work sabotage. So just want to let you know, it could be either one, but you know, I have to tell you that in your future, you have, um, excitement. Okay. You have something new coming. You do. This is the future over here. Something new. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is an Aries as well. And it's where you... Um, are excited for this new adventure, and but it comes after you release, after you free yourself from whatever is holding you back. The tower is going to help you, okay? This is like divine help from above, okay? They're going to help bring your vibrancy back, okay? Um, and I, this is this can also be angels from the other side, the three of pentacles, all right? So you may have some angels helping you as well. Um, anyway, back to the page of wands. I think that you have some excitement ahead of you. All right. Um, where you're going to be really excited, um, confident, like ready to run. Okay. This one, right. This, this page of wands is very much, um, action oriented. Okay. This once things change, you are going to, what I'm trying to say is once things change, you're going to, your vibrancy is going to come back. Your energy is going to come back. Your confidence is going to come back and you're going to be ready to, I can't think of the word. Oh, um, pounce, not really pounce. I'm not talking about um, pounce on another person. I mean, ready to, you're going to be thriving. You're going to be vibrating high. You're going to be just so happy. Okay, that's the energy. That's the energy. You're going to, your focus is going to be on the future. You're not, you know, this focus that you have right now is all down. It's very negative. It's very, and it's not, it's, it's like, 
it's a complete feeling of despair and I'm going nowhere and I'm lost and I'm alone and I'm not getting any love and it's down it's very depressing you're in a depressing energy but that is going to change where you start to take back control of your life you bring the confidence back you bring the courage back and most of all you bring back your beauty your inner and outer beauty that's what this says that's coming back Rest assured it is as soon as you as soon as you focus on your focus on what you need to do and free yourself free yourself free yourself these two cards and those are really the basis of your reading you've done everything you can do Aquarius you've done everything you can do there's nothing more you can do regarding the situation you've put in all the effort all right it's time for you to close the chapter that's what I see Okay, and that takes major strength. And just rest assured that right around the corner are new opportunities for success and excitement. And excitement. I just see a lot of excitement in the future. could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, where you actually work as a team with this person, okay, where you guys work together, all right, now this could be in a job or with a partner, but I see where there's teamwork involved in the future, um, but where you will be very much respected, I know there's a lot of grief. I see that. There is definitely a lot of grief. And your wishes of happily ever after are, are strong. But you've given it all that you can give. You can't. It's time to close the chapter so that a new one can start. Probably with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's who I think. Okay, or you know, if this is work related, this just tells me that you need to really focus, okay, because it, you have a chance to be a leader. All right, so if this is work related and not partnership related, this is telling me that um, your focus could make you a leader because we have the emperor with this queen of wands. It tells me that because right now the depression, whatever's going on right now, whether it's in your job or your love life, it's bringing you down. You can't move up. Like I said, there's no more growth. Okay? But in the month of November, I see that you if you bring closure to whatever it is, there's a lot of growth to be had in the future where you could be a leader, especially in a job. But if this is a romantic situation, you could be... Um, meeting or yeah meeting I'd say meeting I'm just rubbing my chest <coughs> an Aries Leo Sagittarius okay through work through your job all right because there's definitely some job related um, energies here but I see that this grief that you've been carrying around is affecting you uh, tenfold it's affecting your uh, work ethic you know your work of uh, the, the amount of work that you can put out it's affecting your inner beauty it's affecting your outer beauty it's affecting everything and it's time to close the chapter it's time to let it go for good to make it final okay because if you keep wallowing over whatever didn't happen the way that you wanted then you're not closing the chapter and it stays with you okay I do believe that um, hard work pays off okay so you've really put in a lot and the universe hears that they see that and I do believe that ahead of you you have ahead of you you have this happiness that is coming but the step in November is to free yourself from a current situation that is holding you down causing you major depression that's the basis of your reading okay you got to let it go. You're stuck right now. And it's like your their vibration is very low. Very, very low. Um, let me get the next deck. It's not, it's because of, um, I think there's been some manipulation, okay? And, you, and you're so compassionate. The, all these nines are compassion. And you do have a few and you had some of the other ones. I think you're very compassionate. 
and you've let it, it and it's taken over. Okay. Beautiful. So here we have Aries, uh, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So we have all the signs in your reading. It does look like um, we have some teamwork here, quite a bit of it, because we have this card twice, working as a team with somebody. Isn't that what you want? You want like a equal partnership. So this is in the future. It looks to me like finally your ships are going to come in. They are, but the first step is to free yourself from this situation. That is the basis of your reading. It's a false imprisonment. You're stuck somewhere, okay? And you're gonna have to do the right thing. You're gonna have to do the right thing for you. That's you up there, okay? It's time to cut through the bullshit. It's time, and you can do it. You know how to do it. It's about taking care of yourself, because if you don't, who's going to, right? Okay? So I know that you haven't been receiving the attention that you desire, probably from another person, okay? But that doesn't mean that there isn't somebody else, because there is. Your ships are going to come in, all right? Whether it's a person or a job, it's coming. They, it is in sight. It is in sight. Do not give up. Slow and steady. Remember that. If, if you uh, want something to happen overnight, what are the chances are? What are the chances that it's instant gratification like that devil card? Very good. Very high. So remember, patience, steady, calmness, divine timing. Okay? Remember that. All right? Don't expect things to happen overnight. The first step is you have to free yourself and then you need to heal, okay? When you free yourself, you bring the closure. You have, really have to close the door. That means you really have to close the door, okay? And don't expect things to happen overnight because when things happen overnight, it probably isn't true, all right? It's time to work on yourself. It's time to excel. It's time to excel yourself, your soul. It's time to do some soul searching, all right? And once you get through that period, that's when your soulmate will come in, all right? And I know many of you are looking for a soulmate, all right? But right now, you're stuck on a situation that you haven't closed the door. And you may, and the thing is, you have to close the door in every direction. All the doors. The physical door, the mental door. <laughs> Alright? They both need to clo be closed. You're going to be very successful, okay? Do not doubt for a minute that you can't do it because I see a lot of success here. Your hard work getting through this pays off, okay? Whether it be money-wise or um, love-wise, okay? I see a lot of abundance. I see a lot of wealth. I see a lot of stability and security in the future. Your first step is to close a door. I have confidence. I just shuffled those. This is for November. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy 
your courage and faith. <laughs> That's the perfect card. That is. That is the perfect card because I see security, stability, abundance, and love in the future. But the fact of the matter is you have to close a door. And it takes confidence to do that. Knowing that it will come, even if it doesn't come overnight. going to bring back all of your beauty inside and outside. Pr I promise you it will. Talk to you later, Aquarius.